Um, good morning. Welcome to this devotion. The other day I went to buy a shower panel and after I bought it, I got to my car in the car park and, and, and the panel wouldn't fit in my car. <laughs> and there I stood in the car park with this huge panel and as they say in the classics, and nowhere to go. So this guy in a bucky who's a total stranger, he asked me where I live and he offers to drive behind me to drop off the panel. <laughs> and, and I assumed from his language that he's not a Christian, but I had no choice. So I allowed him to follow me, and I must admit, I kept an eye on him in my mirror. There was no way that old Bucky was going to outrun me with my shower panel. Well, to my great delight, uh, the guy drove into my yard and helped me offload the panel. I thanked him and asked him his name. His name is Bruce, and, and off he went. And what makes this guy do this good deed? I do good deeds, but, but my good deeds are motivated to be an expression of love for what God does and has done for me. This guy was just, well, he was just, just a good person. Every now and then people astonish me. And, and my faith in humanity, my faith in people is restored and I, and I learn a life lesson. Does this ever happen to you? You know, someone is, is genuinely, genuinely good and, and they surprise you. There's a story in the Bible in, in, at the end of Mark chapter 12 where, where Jesus is sitting in the temple and he's, and he's watching people bring their money into the treasury, bringing their, their offerings to God. And there's a lot happening here because the whole temple system is corrupt. And, and the people bringing the money, they know it. And yet the offerings are still coming in. The rich are, are dropping off these large amount of cash to a temple that is corrupt. And, and I can only think that this corrupt system is part of the reason why they have so many riches. So to bring lots of money to support the system that supports you, well, that's okay. But then Jesus spots a poor widow. She, she comes in and she drops off two copper coins. And this is all she has. And this again, this, this absolutely astonishes me. The very system that should be looking after her, the very system that should be taking care of her is broken. And yet she knows this. And yet, and yet she brings her offering. As small as it is, she brings her offering to God. Jesus points out her greatness to his disciples because she brought all that she had. Jesus never tells people not to bring an offering because, because the temple system is corrupt, you know. Jesus reminded every person of the responsibility. People are to bring the offering. And you, Jesus commends the, the person that brings the least amount. The person whose money probably made no difference when the money is counted. And then the question that I can't help but ask myself is, why do I and, and why do we bring money to the church? I mean, the struggling pensioner would say that the small amount they bring makes no difference. The poor person would tell you that the few coins, no matter at the end of the day when it's counted, it's not going to make a difference. So, so why, why bother? Why do you bring your offering to the church? I was taught I must bring my offering, but I was never taught why. I'm taught to, good de to do good deeds because I'm the, the hands of Jesus on earth. But I think there is something more to this instruction. Could it be that, that doing good deeds does something to me here inside? Could it be that, that doing good deeds be the very reason why my heart and why your heart is soft? The same people who bring our offering, who, who, who the same people who bring their offerings to the church, the, the, the same reason stands. You know, when we bring our offerings, there's, there's something inside of us that is softened. There's something inside of us that is reminded that what I have, I got from God. And when I give back to God what is God's in the first place, there's something inside of us that is softened. You want to find purpose? Find ways to talk to God with your kindness and with your resources. You want to keep your, your heart soft? Take your kindness and your resources and use them for God. Not because God needs it, but because the condition of your heart needs it. No matter how, how small 
or every little bit matters. Keep on giving what you have. God will use every bit. May your, may your purpose, may your generosity, may your obedience be a blessing to God. And may it be a blessing to others. And may you be blessed as you bless. Until we meet again, grace and peace.